Now, well, what are you talking about? Coming up on Come Dine With Me. <laughs> it's Italian week, so forget about the rest. Oh! Hey. Oops, la, bingo. Buono. As these five strangers go head to head. My dog, my dog. Only cannoli. You're chicken. In the ultimate battle. I smell the winnings. I'm scared. Filled with pasta, parmesan, and pride. This is Italian, 100%. You Canadianized it. Oh. It's come dine with me, Italian style. Mm, mamma mia. Manja, manja, manja. It's our first ever Italian week, where five paisans face off for a thousand dollar prize. And up first is happy homemaker Morella Martino, the ultimate Calabrese coupon queen. I just go nuts. I have tons of coupons. I go through my flyers. I check for all the sales. So that's your deal. When I find a deal, I get so excited. It's like, yes, I saved two bucks, or yes, I saved five bucks, or it could be a measly 50 cents. I'll be like, yes. And what Italian could say no to Morella's appetizer, arancini, whatever that is. Arancini rolls is basically rice balls. Meet the host of Night 4, Lulu Labuyo, a 51-year-old Sicilian divorcee who spends a lot of time on her knees. Gardening. I want to be single. <laughs> I don't want to see no other men ever again. <laughs> Unless he's handing her the $1,000 prize. I don't like to lose. But Morella loves mixing up the rice for her arancini. Gooey, 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 gooey. And will be even gooier after Morella places a piece of mozzarella cheese in the middle. Two more balls to go. And fries the arancini up later tonight. They're going to be amazing. Impressive. I'm not, like, super impressed. That's because the host of the final night, 42-year-old Lou DeSantis, isn't like the rest of the contestants this week. I identify myself as, an, as a Canadian. Mio Dio! I do not speak Italian. And what else? I don't get along very well with other Italians. <laughs> typical. I don't think I'm the typical Italian at all. But Morella is, which is why she's frying up peppers and onions. You gotta have onion in your food when you're cooking. Onion's like the TLC of food. Morella adds minced garlic. I like to put a lot of garlic. And a ton of olive oil to the pot, too. It's gonna make my marinara sauce. In uh, Sicily, uh, rice balls are not served with sauce. Well, we're not in Sicily, so bring on the sauce. That better be homemade. Shame on you, Luigi. That's just like voodoo, you know what I mean? Like, you ask an Italian, is that homemade tomato sauce? It's like a slap in the face. Just pour the sauce in, will ya? Look at that, look at that. I'm looking, I'm looking. Perfect tomato sauce. Perfect? It's perfect because it's made by an Italian. And so is the vino for tonight, because Morella's heading out to see her papino. Daddy, I'm having a dinner party tonight. Can you give me some wine? Oh, yeah, lots of wine. Yeah, I drink white wine or vodka, vodka tonic or gin and tonic. Well, judging by the look of Giuseppe's funnel, you're having red wine tonight. Let the games begin. I make it myself. Yeah. I make a wine for 60 years, 60. Wow. Good wine. That's wow. beautiful wine. Looks really nice. Oh, that beautiful wine. Yeah. Beautiful. Is it beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big fan of drinking. Said no Italian ever. But then again, tomorrow night's host, 21-year-old acro dancer Erica Carinci, isn't what you'd call normal. I take my cell phone everywhere, including the shower. I have a special hook that I hook it on in the shower. Yes, I'm weird, I know, but I cannot live without my cell phone. I am completely addicted to my cell phone. If you want to call out any one of our contestants, tweet us using the hashtag CDWMC. You talking to me? <laughs> Are you talking to me? You talking to me? I'm talking to the person who thought serving stuffed chicken and an arugula fennel salad was a good idea. It's not Italian. Not Italian at all. <laughs> what am I, rabbit? In Italy, fennel, you give it to the rabbits. Introducing our hump day host, 47-year-old fist bumper, Lazaro Pizu, a sassy Sardinian who wants to put the record straight. So Italians, we are completely different of what uh, many people, they think about Italians. We are not the kind of guys, uh, well, we say, hey, ciao, bella, amore mio, come on, give me a break. We don't wear big chains, we don't wear big gold rings. But Italians do get nervous. I'm looking at the time and I'm thinking, oh my God, time's going by so fast. Nervous Nelly chops up and sautés mushrooms and then adds a ton of garlic to the pan. Woohoo! 
Ain't kissing anybody tonight, that's for sure. Morella seasons her chicken. But anyways. <laughs> then layers on the sautéed mushrooms and Swiss cheese. You must be kidding. Oh, come on. You must be kidding. About the Swiss cheese? Nope. Here it is, my little stuffed chicken breast in the queue. Why not Fontina cheese? Why not provolone cheese? Why Swiss cheese? Maybe they got confused. Switzerland, Italy, same thing. Sure, why not? Wow, you guys are picky. Some Italians are very opinionated. And some just want to coat their chicken in egg, flour, and fry before peeling potatoes for gnocchi. Hot potato, hot potato. I love gnocchis. But it's really easy to screw up. Not when you have a fancy ricer. I'm in the zone large. I'm, like, I'm in it to win it. Morella adds eggs and flour to the dough, mixes, and mixes, and mixes some more. It's a long process. But well worth it. This big ball of dough is going to bring home the dough. This menu can't win. I'm very sorry. It's like a soccer game. You're going to lose because uh, my number here is number 10. Doesn't mean number one. Um, yeah. So anyways, Morella rolls the gnocchi out and cuts into little fluffy potato pillows. Did you put your little head on it, see? Big deal. Can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Or just play it cool and get working on your cannoli. How typical Italian can you be? A cannoli. Like, really? What's wrong with cannoli? Such a boring menu. Cannoli. Everybody wants to do make cannoli. To make the filling, Morella combines one packet of vanilla pudding, instant cappuccino mix, heavy cream, and flips a switch. I don't have to hold it, nothing. Before moving on to the shells. You can definitely get cannoli shells at any supermarket now. Sure, but Morella's making them the old-fashioned way by wrapping puff pastry around the hollow metal tubes. This is what's going to give that little curly effect to the puff pastry once it's baked. I love cannolis. My cannolis are the best. It's not that hard to do. That's if you grease the tubes before baking. I skip that step, and I, I can't get them off the rollers. So what are you going to do? Cry. Because this was my showstopper. Then get them off. I can't get them off. They're not coming off. How can I, how can I serve them? They're not coming off. So what do we do now? Cry. Slash celebrate. Ciao, Bella. Number one right here. Sicilians do it better. Viva Italia! Coming up on Come Dine With Me... Salute! Buongiorno guest and Arriva Derci to Marilla's Arancini. You Canadianized it, Marilla. Oh, holy, I'm sorry. Mamma Mia! It's night one of a special week-long wine and dine to see who's the numero uno italiano. That's an offer that host Marilla just can't refuse. I'm here to prove that I am the best Italian on the block. Which means first impressions are everything. Yes. She's ready to meet her first guest, the life of the party, Lazaro. Hi, Hi. Lala. Hi, What's I'm your name? Lazaro. Oh, nice to oh. meet you. Uh, this, is, this is for you. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Such a charmer. She's a very nice uh, woman. So, so what, uh, what part of Italy are you from? I am from Sardinia. The Sardinia. island, uh, the island of the sun. Oh my goodness! Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's wonderful. Yeah. And just arrived uh, here. Oh. Was, yeah, six months ago. Come on! No, no, I know. No, come on, really? Natty, I'm here. That's oh right. Oh my God, that's yeah. amazing. <laughs> if not authentic. He's extremely Italian. Like, oh my God, the accent and all. Oh my God, it's fantastic. Too bad the next guest isn't. Here's dreary divorcee Lulu. Hello, Morella. Hi, Morella, Lulu. Hi, you do. How are you? You. Same here. Sorry about the knock. I didn't think no, you heard no, me. No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry, Lulu. You better be. Yeah, just too overly bubbly for me for first uh, encounter. Oh, you haven't seen nothing yet. Hi there, I'm Lulu. Ciao, io sono Lazzo. Mi dà un bacio a questa parte. Whoa, slow down, Lazaro. He doesn't scare me. He should. Inside of Lulu, there is the softness that a man can turn in and uh, bring out the beauty of Lulu. Careful. I'm from Sicily. You're Siciliano. Wow, hey. Then too bad next guest, Lou, doesn't get along with Italians. Hi, I'm Hi. I'm Lou. How are you? Mom. Nice really to good. meet you. Nice to meet you, Papa. OK. Typical Italian housewife. Hi, Lou. Hi. Lulu. Hi, Lulu. <laughs> Is there an echo in here? I'm not going to forget his name. She's Lulu. And you are Lou. You yeah. can't get confused. OK. The next one is going to be Lou, Lou, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, here we go. What part of Italy are you from? I was born here. 
You mean in Canada? He really want to be Italian. And Morella really wants to find out who the last guest is. Hi, I'm Morella. Hi, I'm Erica. It's nice to meet you. Hugs. I was extremely taken back when she hugged me at the door. Erica's sweet. She's young. She's like, just like, so... What? Angelic. Oh, yeah. Really angelic. The heels, the, the tight skirt, the tight top. I was like... I, I, I was kind of speechless. Too bad Lazaro isn't. Very good flashback. And Lulu, too. I definitely have a daughter the same age, and I'd kill her if she'd go up like that. Sounds like tonight's going to be a riot. Well, I just want to thank you all for joining me for this beautiful Italian night. And one, and two, two and, and one, one, two, three, and three. And three. Viva Italia! I think it's going to be, like, an extremely Italian night tonight. It sure is. While Morella gets started on her arancini appetizer, Sardinia and Sicily take a snoop in her bedroom. Look what she got here. Piggy banks? Wow! And we found that uh, penny bags for money. Piggy banks, Lazaro, not peeny bags. Look at all the money in here. I see $50 bills here. Why do you think she's uh, collecting all this... Uh, money? Money. Don't think it's for cooking lessons. Look at that yummy goodness. Yeah, it's oozing. I love when it oozes. It's just because when they bite into it, they're just going to have that oozy mozzarella come out. Great. Then there'll be nothing to complain about. What are these things? Consumer services. Oh my god, there must be hundreds of complaint letters in here. Complaints about what? Oh, you know, things like soap. Dear Morella, we're sorry to hear that our product made too many suds. Too many suds? This woman's crazy. How can you complain about a product being too sudsy? Please be assured that this is very unusual and we would not expect this to occur. We are happy to enclose a coupon. Ooh, a coupon! She wants coupons, that's what it is. She needs to get out a little more. And learn how to set a proper table. In an Italian table, With there is bread. always bread. No bread? There is no bread. Mamma mia! See, at my house, it's yeah. always fork, knife, spoon, no, bread. A bread. Bread is a utensil. No. This is a hard-to-please Italian crowd. Ah, put a cork in it. This is homemade wine. This is my father's homemade wine. Oh, that I want to try. Oh, of course. See? She knew you'd like that. This is good. To say that it's very good. It is good. I'm surprised. The wine was horrible. Well, luckily, there's more than one way to get sauced. Doesn't that look delicious? We'll see. Morella's arancini appetizer is ready to serve. To Mr. Dirty Mind. Hey, Lulu. What do make you think about it to his two balls? I'm not going to even say. <laughs> Come on, look at that. Oh, Lazaro. Childish. No, this is childish. Bon appetito. OK. Who whistles before they tell you to eat? Morella. I didn't get that. And Lulu doesn't get the appetizer. So why is the Calabresa making a Sicilian dish? This is Sicilian. Yes, I'm well aware of Sicilian. Ooh, testy. But growing up, my mother would make them all the time. So there. She completely got it all wrong. Typically, an arancini is made with the sauce inside. inside. You Canadianized the morella. Oh, ah, holy, I'm sorry. You should be, because... I have to say that it's dry. It wasn't great. It wasn't good at all. From my point of view, no. And from Lou's point of view... The rice doesn't seem almost cooked fully because parts of it are crunchier and it's not the crunchy from being fried. It's like biting into a piece of rice. So in other words... The arancini. Thumbs down. Kind of like Lou's love life. No, I'm single. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. A good-looking man like you? Come on. It happens. Oh, my God. You think that's weird? Depends on what you're looking for. Would you rather find true love with a poor person or want to find someone rich? As long as I have a connection. As long as we're happy. It's all that matters. Aww. I've been through love. I'll take the money now. I think there's a past there. and There's some bitterness with the divorce that she's had. Yeah, and it's made her real snoopy. We stumbled across two piggies in your bedroom. Oh, my God, you saw the piggies? Don't be embarrassed. I think it's cute that she saves money in piggy banks. No one does that nowadays. My husband and I made a pact that uh, when we got married that we would save some money 
every year and take a trip. So do you have a, a trip planned for this year? Uh, if all goes well, yes. Uh, we'll be going to uh, La Romana in the Dominican Republic. Uh, excuse me? Dominican Republic. Why Republica Dominicana? You're Italian. Why don't spend your money in your country in Italy? Yeah, Morella. You know what the hell with them? Coming up. Will the gnocchi be a no-go? The gnocchi was awful. It's night one of a five-day taste of Italia. And after only one dish, host Morella's already had her fill of her fellow paisans. They're a tough crowd. They are an extremely tough crowd. Don't forget extremely Italian. Lulu, I think, is the most Italian at the table. Really? Lazaro is clearly the most Italian out of all of us. Clearly. I'm a Sicilian song. Come on. Come on, you're Sicilian. I know, but I'm not a singer. Come on. He doesn't shut off. I have a lot to teach to these Italians. And the first thing is uh, to be Italian. Which means not serving stuffed chicken breast. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Look at that. It's absolutely perfect. Maybe on the outside. Chicken breast with Swiss cheese. That well, doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand. Are you preparing chicken breast with Swiss cheese? No. That's, this is not correct. No one likes Swiss cheese, eh? No way. Swiss cheese is not Italian. Well, gnocchi is Italian. My gnocchi are going to take seconds to cook. It's the butter sauce that I'm concerned about. Why? It takes more longer. More longer? Eh, it's a little bit Italian for you, eh? It's the Italian coming out. It takes more longer and no scare. You know, I no scare. Marilla douses the gnocchi in sauce, plates it with stuffed chicken, arugula fennel salad, and it's ready to serve. Sorry it took a, a bit of time. Oh, as long as it's worth the wait. Presentation on the dish was horrible. Ah, you're just whistling Dixie. It's back. It didn't need to come out within the main course. Again. I don't know what the whistle is all about, but definitely not Italian. But is her food? Your chicken is actually surprising me because normally chicken breast is drier, dry, but uh, it's actually quite moist inside. Let's hear it for the Swiss cheese. She made a mistake to put uh, the Swiss cheese. I have to be critical. Why not uh, pecorino romano or any other type of cheese could be Italian? Yeah, why not, Morella? I find those, those cheeses that you mentioned to be salty. So try to stay with that, away from that. Yeah, but you can use as well a uh, fontina cheese. Yeah. Okay, I appreciate that. Thank you. For being so honest. I speak the truth. Why say it's good when it's not good? I don't know. Ask Lou and Erica. I think that the texture of the gnocchi is really nice. It's soft. The gnocchi was awful. It was terrible. It's pretty good. Like it? Yeah. Liar. Who gives a crap? <laughs> I'm guessing Morella. I am a housewife. I, I, I'm a stay-at-home wife. I take care of my home. I take care of my husband. And uh, that's basically how I, my days are passed. How fun. I feel sorry for her. Seriously, I feel really sorry for her, Mirella. Lazaro, what do you do for a living? I can say it. You can't say it? No. What, what, is, it? what is it? What is it? Where? Mafia? What are you talking about? Where 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 are you talking about? Coming up on Come Dine With Me, holy moly cannoli. This is not a cannoli, you know that. It's Mambo Italiano week, and Morella is feeling fantastico. I'm gonna win this competition for sure. Holy cannoli, that's pretty confident, considering you don't have a dessert. This is my first batch of cannoli that I did today. They didn't turn out. Shh, they'll hear you. Did she go to the bakery and buy them? No, but she is getting pastry from her sister-in-law. Thank you. Okay, enjoy. Thanks. Oh my God, thank God we got the puff pastry. Well, just don't screw it up again. When I made my first batch of cannolis, I didn't put the shortening on the rollers. Ah, uh, take your time. Lou's not in a rush. Keep pouring the wine and I'll be happy whenever dessert comes. Which hopefully will be shortly. Now that's the way they're supposed to look. But will they slide right off? Now for the moment of truth. Fingers crossed. Look at that. Perfect. Yes. 
great. Now fill those puppies and get them out there. I hope everybody likes it. Time to find out. Cannoli part de is served. Please take one. Very good. Very good. Very good. Really? It was actually well done. It tasted amazing. But this is not a cannoli, you know that. It's not? Cannoli is, uh, has a different texture. A different color. There's two cannolis. There's Sicilian cannoli and that's Neapolitan cannoli. There's no, two types. Neapolitan, they don't call this cannoli. Tomato, tomato. This is no cannoli. This is sfogliatella. Foglia what? Sfogliatella. That is a sfogliatella with cream. Semantics. You can call it whatever you want. It was fantastic. The pastry was perfect. The filling, delicious. The best part of the whole meal. So on that note, I'd like to finish it off with this. Ugh, not again. Salute! 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 So Morella ends on a high note. I think I deserve a nine. Well, you know what? Better yet, I changed my mind. I deserve a 10. Well, I'm going to give to Mirella a six because that wasn't a really Italian night. The food just wasn't up to par, so I'm giving her a five. I'm giving Morella a six. Put this in your whistle and blow it. Six. Wow, that does blow. With 23 points, Morella has top spot. But for how long? I'll show you what a real Italian night is. There's only one winner, the real Italian, me. I'm not afraid of any of them. I did not come here to lose to these people. Not at all. Salute! On the next episode... Uh, you, 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 you. Can Erica make her Nona proud? I would not be impressed with me right now. With a little elbow grease. <laughs> as Italian Week continues. Salute. Coming up. Oh. Yay. It's Italian Week. Viva Italia. Will a sassy senorina. Only people that are going to be crying are my competition. Shock her competitors. I'm speechless. This is Come Dine With Me, <sighs> Italian Style. Oh, this is embarrassing. I never saw such a bunch of monkeys like that. I'm gonna win, so don't even worry about it. It's day two of our week-long Taste of Italia, and tonight's host is acro dancer Erica. In the dance world, you're either number one or you're nothing. Or you're just spoiled. I have uh, about 75 pairs of shoes in my closet and about 150 purses. Oh, is that all? My parents bought me a luxury car. When I had it totaled, they bought me a new luxury car. I think she's a little devil. That's tomorrow night's host, Lazaro, a music producer who thinks he's going to be tough to beat. For sure, they are going down. Sounds dirty. Lazaro thinks he's God's gift to women. And Lulu thinks she's going to get her green thumbs on the grand prize when she hosts on night four. I'm going to kick their ass. You know what? Whatever. Yeah, because when it comes to cooking, the final night's host, Lou, thinks he can skate circles around the competition. If they shouldn't even bother showing up, I'm going to win. Well, you'd probably do better than Morella did last night with her Calabrese-inspired dinner party. It was a nightmare. Pretty strong words, Lazaro. The comments that were given to me last night were not warranted in my books. Oh, you mean about the uh, <clears throat> authentic Italian cuisine? The arancinis were not arancinis. Big deal, the sauce was on the outside. You Canadianized the umbrella. Oh, holy, I'm sorry. The only good thing of her menu was the dessert. Oh, you mean the so-called cannolis? But this is not a cannoli, you know that. There's two cannolis. There's Sicilian cannoli, and that's Neapolitan cannoli. There's no. two types. Neapolitan, they don't call this cannoli. If you're inviting me to an Italian dinner, make sure that you do 100% Italian. Or else you'll wind up with 23 points and a vendetta like Morella. I'm 100% Calabres, I never forget. Doesn't bother me. And neither does being 21. Definitely working as an advantage for me when people underestimate my palate, because when I pull out my big guns, then they're definitely gonna be shocked. And what about when you pull out the Guidette cutlery? I have a cheetah print knife, like that's how cool I am. But will anyone get hot and bothered about Erica's appetizer, pasta fagioli, otherwise known as pasta and bean soup? Can you imagine yourself eating pasta and beans? Come on! Well, you'll be fine all night to sort of my language. <laughs> That's so good! No, but it is Italian. Um, 
Sicilians don't make pasta with fagioli. But princesses do. The best part of living at home would probably be I don't have to buy my own groceries. It's pretty exciting. I can barely contain myself. Erica seems really, um... Very soft-spoken, very quiet. How about very vain? Yes, yes, yes. You can't just pick one best part about being Erica. There's just too many to choose from. I don't trust Erica. She is a bit of a freak of nature. I mean, chopping onions with no tears. The only people that are going to be crying are my competition, that's for sure. I am curious about Erica and what makes her tick. Here's a hint, violence and garlic. I'm going to smash the competition just like this garlic. See? What's up with that? Don't worry, actually beating you up would require work, and work's not really Erica's thing. I chose to make the soup just because it's super easy to make. It takes half an hour to cook. Better be good. I'm looking forward to it. Let's see if everyone will be as excited about her main, short ribs with tagliatelle. I love ribs. Who doesn't? I've had short ribs. Usually it's in a Korean restaurant. Ugh, not this again. Italian, Italian, Italian. If you want to give Erica a good ribbing about the old country, tweet away. Hashtag CDWMC. It's always Italy or it's nothing at all. To the pot, Erica adds a little something something. And P.S. it's the good stuff. And if you wouldn't drink the wine, you shouldn't cook with the wine. This is Italian. Definitely Italian. But the can of diced and the jar of crushed tomatoes, not so much. No homemade tomato sauce today. This is enough. Sure about that? Come on, give me a break. No, give Erica a break, because she's making her own tagliatelle. My nonna taught me how to make pasta. That's wonderful. But this is not her recipe. Well, then whose is it? Come on, dish. Someone I got off the internet. <laughs> Erica, baby, you need to learn. To think outside the box. I'm not 100% sure how these go together. It's pretty simple. Not if you're Erica. My dad normally does this for me. Oh, my God. Kind of put it wherever it can go. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, that'll do just fine. Now just feed the pasta through. It doesn't seem to be grabbing it. Well, try again. Nope. Yikes. Oh, this is embarrassing. You call yourself Italian? <laughs> there we go. Now it's starting to look like pasta. Oh yeah, it's looking great. What the hell is that? It's supposed to be pasta, I think. I would not be impressed with me right now. It's very soft. And apparently very slippy. It doesn't look pretty. No, but it does look done. Yay, we have pasta, finally. And a lot of it, because Erica's repurposing the dough for her dessert. Chocolate hazelnut ravioli. And at a pasta. Come on. Pasta fagioli, tagliatelli, ravioli, holy. Enough is enough already. Actually, there's never enough dessert, which is why Erica's also making chocolate mousse. Mousse is definitely not Italian. No? All the Italians in Italy, when they see this, when they hear this, they be laughing. No, it's not uh, uh, Italian dessert. Yeah, it's definitely more French. Lots of creme, some sucre, but there is something Italian about it. I'm adding espresso to my mousse because uh, we do have to make it a little on the Italian side. Not too crazy about espresso. An Italian that doesn't like espresso? Get a life. Doesn't make any sense. Well, everyone will definitely love this. Lots and lots of chocolate. The more chocolate, the better. Wow. Erica pours the chocolate sauce into the blender her parents bought her. Wonderful. Followed by four egg whites. She blends, pours, and she's done. Bellissima! I am so Italian that I actually have an Italian flag tattooed on my ankle. <laughs> I'm ready for her. Game on. Game on, big time. I was born to win. Mamma mia! Coming up on Come Dine With Me, Oh, my God. Will it be curtains for Erica? What? You don't like this? It's night two of our Italian cook-off, and Erica is ready to school the competition. I'm the Italian princess, and the Italian princess always wins. Especially when wearing a halter top. Let's hope Lou likes his host flirty. Hi, Erica. How are you? Good, nice how are seeing you? you again. Mwah, mwah. I brought this for oh, you. Oh, thank you. I love your blue shirt. The sucking up begins. She was actually a nice, sweet, welcoming girl. In fact, the only thing sweeter is her lemonade. Cheers. Cheers. 
Is there alcohol in yours? No, tonight? there's no alcohol in mine. I don't like alcohol. Weirdo. I don't understand. I've never met an Italian that does not drink alcohol. Good news is there's more for me. And for Lulu. Hey! hey. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Big hug. Oh, oh my goodness, doing? I love your dress. More brown nosing? She was so full of energy, like she was happy to see me. Yeah, imagine that. Hi, Lulu. Hey, Lou. How are you? I'm well. Good. How are you? I'm very good. Nice to see you again. Liar. She's an interesting woman. And so talkative. Do you think we'll find any dust in this house? Impossibility? I don't know. I don't think so. Most Italian homes I've been in are, like, spotless. You can yes. eat off the floors. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find the place okay? Um, a little bit long. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. The walls are purple. Sure are. Really? <laughs> Hopefully Morella has a little more to say tonight. Hey, Erica! How are you? Good, how are you? Good, nice to see, nice you. To see you. I love your shirt. It's oh, very cute. I thought, wow. You know these people, Lou and Lulu here. Hey, yeah. how are you? Hey, how's it going? Good, good. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Hi, hey, Lulu, how are you? Oh, how are you? Good. You're all relaxed after oh, yesterday? Oh, yes, absolutely. Now it's time for someone else to be in the spotlight. Are you looking forward to uh, seeing Lazaro again? Well, Lazaro, he's just, like, so loud and so, like, hey, you know, look at my clothes. I got the best clothes. I got the best jacket. I got the leather jacket for Italy. That's Lazaro for you. Well, speak of the Italian devil. Hi, Erica. How, How are you? Fine, thank you. This is for you. Oh, thank you. You shouldn't have. Oh, yes, he should have. They all they are waiting for me. They are waiting for the Italian. The real Italian coming from Italy. That he thinks that the Don Giovanni, the Playboy. You're quite a character, I must say. No, why? <laughs> you never meet Italians? <laughs> you never meet an Italian? <laughs> I'm Italian. No, I've never no? met an Italian. It's been a long time since I've met an Italian. So you have Italian friends then here in Canada? Uh, I don't actually have very many Italian friends, no. Why? Why not? Why? I don't know, because the ones that I've met were all like you. <laughs> oh, it's a compliment? Not quite. It's so easy to make fun of him. It's just over the top. Top on, on the top? Over the top. Not on top, over, over the, the top. Over the top. What do you mean about over the top? Over the top. Over the top? You're just over the top. You're just like, just, just you know, oh, you know, I got the best clothes. I got this, I got that. Did you, did you say that? Yeah. That's Italian. That's typical Italian, but like, we're talking okay. about Lazaro here. He's like okay. over the top. But guys. Lazaro's a typical Italian. I'm Italian. What do you expect? The actor is Chinese. Uh, can we stop fighting, please? Uh, no, we were definitely not fighting. It was just an Italian thing. If you say so. Tonight is going to be amazing. All right. To hoping the pasta fagioli amounts to more than a hill of beans. Soup. You can't go wrong with soup. But Lulu and Lou have taken a wrong turn on the way to the loo. Oh, my God. What, what, what the hell is this? My guess would be a bedroom. It was, it was like, it's like walking into a crazy Eastern European woman's bedroom. It's, it's, it's burning my eyes. It's like, um, it's like Gaudi threw up. What? You don't like this? Look, it could be a dress. Like the sound of music? And what's going on with this? A big pink frog. Rabbit. I don't understand. Maybe it's her future Prince Charming. Oh my lord, look. A tiara. Erica, our little princess. Oh, I want to be princess for a day. I'm not into the tiaras. Well, there's got to be something in there for you. This is hey, that's perfect. Hey, take that's it easy, perfect. Erica. That's Erica. Look at that this. That is like hot. Like, wow. They're really my mommy. You want to try them? Uh, I'm lucky if they'll go around my <laughs> thigh. I don't have nothing to say about this. Okay, then what about this? So, you guys hungry? I'm starving. I'm starving. I'm looking forward to it. All right, oh, guys. Wow. Here's a oh, basket of bread. Gosh, bread. Yes. Wow. Yay, bread. And there's more carbs where that came from as Erica puts the pasta into her soup. So it's interesting to see how she's going to present it as an appetizer. Well, how else would you serve soup? In a bowl. Duh. Erica's pasta fagioli is ready to serve. Thank you. Looks delicious. delicious. And even better with some freshly grated Parmesan. So this is my Nonna's pasta fagioli. So please enjoy, guys. Oh, playing the Nona card. That should get you points. Her nonna has a lot of influence on uh, Erica, and you can tell. Erica, I want to say that this is delicious. Thank you. This is so good. I really, Thank you. really enjoyed it.
It just brought me back to my childhood. It's very good. It's it's close to my nonas as well. I'm really impressed for someone who's so young like you. You did it. Thank yeah. you. Taste is excellent. Great, thank you. Yeah. Props to Nonna. And her little princess. When Lazaro and I were in your bedroom, we came across a tiara. Wow. So what's that all about? <laughs> I wear it on my birthday. And um, yeah, my birthday lasts for three weeks, just so everybody knows. Really? Oh my god. So you're kind of like daddy's little girl. Definitely daddy's little girl. So yes, like he you're buys me whatever I want. So you're spoiled then. I'm spoiled and I'm proud of it. Must be nice to be Erica. If you could be anybody for one day, who would it be? Prince Harry. Prince Harry? For one day, just to see, because they always talk about, you know, how hard it is to be part of that family. And 24-7 being in the limelight, you know what? Let's see what it's like. Whatevs. I think the guy has a lot of issues, a lot of problems. Oh, yeah, yours is so much better. Volta? Who's that? Well, you're telling you, I should know. <sighs> Come on. Volt? They're not getting it, Lazaro. Volta. Alessandro Volta is the person that invented the Volt. Oh, that Volta. The Volta, is that Volta? The Volta. Oh, okay. What's Volta? Really? I have no idea who that is. We have a bunch of in your hands. Coming up on Come Dine With Me, having a gas. That's a stupidity. Tonight, 21-year-old Erica is out to teach the old dogs some new tricks. I may be young, but I clearly know what I'm doing. Clearly, judging by the look of her short ribs. I can feel that the sauce is splattering all over your pants. Oh, crap. Shoot. Yeah, that would happen to me. I wouldn't be a true Italian if I didn't spill anything on myself. Stereotype. In the Italian communities, girls are brought up to stay home, learn to cook, learn to clean, take care of the home. Do you guys believe that? No, no. That's a big no, Marella. I was brought up that way, and, and I still practice that. Oops. I don't get it. Maybe you would if she talked with her hands more. All Italians talk with their hands, big time. Oh, and don't forget they also make really good pasta. You can definitely tell the difference between fresh and dried pasta. Since it's fresh pasta, it's only gonna take about a minute. No one cares about the food, Erica. I want wine. I want some more I wine. I want wine too. She's not a mind reader. <laughs> Wine's coming. All right, I heard the bell, guys. I'm here right. with the wine. Here you Yay. go. But you've got to pour it yourself, because Erica's got plating to do. A little bit of pasta here. A little sauce there and a big mound of short ribs here. It's gonna be good. Let's see. Erica's main course is ready to serve. All right. Here you go, guys. Oh, my. Wow, that looks good. You sound shocked. She did surprise me. This is braised short ribs with a homemade tagliatelle pasta. How do you say this pasta? Tagliatelle? <laughs> it's not that funny, Lulu. Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> Tagliatelle? No. Tagliatelle. Oh, sorry. The G is silent. G. Oh, all right. silent G. Every good Italian should know that. I hope you guys enjoy it. Because if not, then Erica knows she's going to hear about it. I'm speechless. I just want to eat it. And the, the taste... I mean, I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's 10 points just for Erica making him speechless. You really surprised me today. <laughs> no, Thank you. You really, you really surprised me. It was excellent. However, I'm not quite sure on the Italianness of it. I know it's not per se typical Italian, but uh, I figured since my nonna made it, I wanted to share it with you guys. That's twice with the nonna. I love the fact that she refers to her nana all the time. But is Lulu eating it up? I know your pasta is homemade, and the texture is very good. Thank There's you. no doubt about it. I'm really impressed because you're so young and you can do this. Among other things, I can lick my elbow. This I gotta see. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a talent. I can let out a belch and a half. A belch that will knock you right off your feet. Prove it. <laughs> That's... What? That's a stupidity. Oh, she's just getting started. I can sometimes speak when I belch. Uh, wait. 
Yeah, that's pretty funny, all right. <laughs> I never saw such a bunch of monkeys like that. What a snob. I work in the films in Italy with uh, different act directors, like Federico Fellini. Ooh, Fellini. I like Federico Fellini films. To be in a Fellini film is definitely impressive to me. Who was Fellini? Say what? Fellini, he was like a famous, famous director. director. He did one of the movies yeah. well known is Otto Mezzo. It's enough. You know, La Dolce Vita, La Strada. Ring any bells? I have no idea who he is. It's kind of scary. Yeah, and she's supposed to be Italian. Oh, mamma mia. Coming up on Come Dine With Me, it's Erica's party and she can cry if she wants to. Oh, I'm sorry. It's night two of a special week-long wine and dine to see who's the numero uno Italiano host. And Erica feels magnifico. I got this. I got this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All thanks to her Nona's recipe. I love how close she is with her grandmother. All of her family, actually. Why are you crying? Well, it's just because my, my grandfather just passed away. Oh, oh sorry. I'm sorry goodness. about How long really? ago? Two weeks ago? Oh, oh my God, I'm sorry. He was like my best friend. We were very close, and he, because I was his first grandchild, so it, we had that kind of special bond. <laughs> Aw, Lou. I got a little bit emotional because I could understand the feeling that she was going through. If I were her mother, I'd give her a big hug. So sweet. I think that was a great bonding experience. It sure was. And she's hoping her dessert, chocolate hazelnut ravioli, will seal the deal. How can you go wrong with uh, chocolate hazelnut spread and... Uh, pasta. I'm kind of like a little worried about this because she's got pasta in each course. I love pasta, but I for three courses in a row. But there's more than just pasta. There's chocolate espresso mousse too, and it's all ready to eat. There you go. Oh my goodness. You like? It was a beautiful presentation. But does it taste as good as it looks? Enjoy. I'm pleasantly surprised that you can't, there's not a lot of espresso flavor. I was a little worried it was gonna be tasting like espresso, but it's definitely chocolate. I'm glad you gave it a try then. Absolutely loved it. So did Lazaro. Like I said before, I'm speechless. Thank you. I make you laugh when I say speechless because I talk all the time. No kidding. It was really tasty. It was good. Do you have any more of the raviolis? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't actually. Shoot. That good, huh? A chocolate hazelnut ravioli was very, very good. Put a trademark on it. I wouldn't waste any time. I should. Yeah, you definitely should. <laughs> but just the ravioli and not the mousse? I honestly think the dessert would have been better just the ravioli, as opposed to having the two. The mousse is more, it's more of a pudding. But all in all... You did a wonderful job. You should Thank be proud you. of yourself. I am. Thank you. Good job, Erica. Good job, Erica. Good job, Erica. Nona and Nono would be proud. I won. Woohoo. I'm the princess. I won. That's right. I mean. Now don't get too carried away. She did a pretty good job for her age. I'm giving her a six. I'm going to give Erica a seven. Erica, you're getting otto. Sette. Bueno. That means Erica pulls way ahead of Morella with 28 points. I guarantee I'm going to win. Victory is mine. Manja, manja. I didn't come here to lose. Tomorrow I'm going to show to them the real Italian food and an experience that is going to stay with them to remember. Viva l'Italia! On the next episode... This is the Italian flag. Will the Italian stallion take the reins? Do you believe in magic? Oh, my God! With a picture-perfect night... Oopla. Or will the mob take him down? I, I like my meat well done. I don't know about it. As the fist-pumping continues, Jersey style. This should be make, I should make a perfume, a salami perfume. Coming up, mm, mia. Italian Week continues. Viva l'Italia! Will a staunch Sardinian this is Italian, 100%. get rave reviews? Everything you see in this plate is made by me. Is he making it all up? I don't know if I believe all this. This is Come Dine With Me, Italian style. Finito. It's hump day of our week-long Battle of Italia, and representing Sardinia is loud and proud music producer Lazaro. Tonight, they're going to see a real Italian meal. Such a trooper. Being the Italian army, 
and I was a chef. And I cooked every day for more than 8,000 people. So watch out. You know what? He's all bark but no bite. That's tomorrow night's host, Lulu, a straight shooting Sicilian who never beats around the bush. I'm gonna kill it. I don't think she'd ever be someone I'd be friends with. But Lou will have to play nice if he wants to skate into the winner's circle on night five. My night's gonna beat the rest of the nights because I'm gonna actually have good food. Lou is like a little mama's boy. Who threw a tantrum on night one when Morella hosted. That was the worst New York I've ever had. Which explains the pathetic 23 points. Way to go, Morella. I can't force them to like me. Well, they certainly liked youngster Erica's dinner party last night. Yeah. Yeah. Last night was wonderful. Oh, I had a good time. My nonna would definitely be proud of me. For winning over the hardcore Italians. You really surprised me. I'm really impressed. Props to nonna. For inspiring Erica and helping her get 28 points. That's ridiculous. Because she's Canadian. The Italian Canadians, they think they know how to make uh, the Italian good food. No. They're wrong. Which is why Lazaro is starting the night off with a traditional antipasto. Who doesn't like antipasto? No one. I love that. I can eat that all day. It seems very Lazaro-ish. Ditto for the fully stocked cantina and for the chef jacket. Hope you like it because uh, this is my home and this is what I built in 72 hours after no, I bought this house. And grab those sausages. I wouldn't expect anyone to actually cure their own meats or jar their own vegetables. Such a Canadian. Hey, come on, you're giving, uh, are you offering something that you made? And what's better than antipasto with? Olives. Cherries. This I put to some brandy. Mushrooms. My heart chokes as well. And this. This is uh, cacciotta. I'm not 100% sure what it is. It's cheese. I love cheese. I absolutely love cheese. Any cheese. Lazaro's more of a salami man. Mm, mamma mia. This is the smell that uh, they should make. I should make a perfume. A salami perfume. <laughs> I don't think he's joking. This salami, this one, before it became a salami, was a little piggy. And it was part of the three piccoli porcellini. And so the three little pigs. And that was the song was Siantre piccoli porcelli, ta ta ti, ta ta ti. And after they became a salami. Oi, oi, oi. Come on, stay quiet. Look who's talking. <laughs> it would be a surprise if Lazaro was quiet. Like they said, these Italians, they talk, they talk. Hey, but if you don't talk, what do you do in life? I don't think I could be roommates with Lazaro. What, with his penchant for pancetta and prosciutto? And this prosciutto from Parma. Ooh, ah. I'm not a big meat eater. I prefer seafood. That's why for her, I have some prawns. Which Lazaro is sauteing in butter. Happy now, Morella? One good. But is this a bad thing? Lazaro is serving stuffed lamb chops and steamed asparagus for his main course. I really don't like lamb. Problem child. I'm definitely looking forward to the lamb. Lazaro butterflies the chops, and then it's on to the stuffing. I wonder what, well, what he's stuffing it with. Well, prosciutto, of course, and Asiago cheese. Wow, looks good. I'm not wowed. I'm actually surprised he doesn't have a pasta dish. Ah, uh, who needs pasta when you have asparagus? I don't like asparagus. That's not something that's hard to prepare. Put the asparagus here, steam it, remove it very fast, and voila. Just like magic. If you think Lazaro can pull a rabbit out of his hat tonight, tweet us, hashtag CDWMC. He's not going anymore here. Where is going? OK, we're going to get here. Look at that. How you did it? The Italian stallion. Who's taking the reins with his dessert and serving Sardinian Zeppoli. Not 100% sure what that is. Anyone? Zeppoli is basically an Italian donut. Yeah, Lou. You know, made with flour, eggs, milk, I don't really need to learn it. <laughs> OK. I think Lou is anti-Italian. Or just lost in translation. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get this. That is the yeast. The what? Yeast. Yeast. Oh, yeast. <laughs> it's my accent. I know you guys have a strong accent, but come on. We do give him a hard time. And in return, he's giving you Zeppeli, loaded with orange zest, fresh squeezed juice, and brandy. Mixed to within an inch of its life. It's coming together. It's coming together. I'm not worried. You should be, because the batter's got potatoes in it, too. Voila! This is Italian, 100%. I'll go along with it. Especially because he's going to be serving ice cream with the Zeppeli tonight. 
Is the ice cream homemade or is it bought? Does that answer your question? I never buy store-bought ice cream. I actually make all my ice cream all the time myself. So there. He's going to say, wow, you make this? I go to style him. Yes. But will Lazaro's guests say no to this? There's a little note here. It says dress code. Very colorful. Surprise! That's not surprising. <sighs> Just go with it. No one can beat me. I don't plan on losing. Coming up on Come Dine With Me. Oh, my God. Will tonight be picture perfect? Look at those eyebrows. Got to do something, man. Got to wax those things. Mamma mia! We're in the middle of a battle Italia, and loudmouth Lazaro thinks everyone else should just forget about it. Tonight, they're going to see the real Italian night. Which obviously includes dressing like a highlighter, and should go over well with Dark Cloud Lulu. Hello! Hey. Not too bad. How are you? Nice. Nice, nice to see you. you am, I, am I colorful look. enough? Yes. No. I wore purple. Big whoop. I guess uh, for her, colors is completely another meaning. I have, I guess, the uh, Spanish look. All you're missing is a cute little umbrella. Oh, my God. Cool. How does it look? That's very good. Actually, I think the Goes color matches. The, yeah, matching your dress. Perfect. Like Lazaro's Martini Bianco. Ah. Uh, mm, that's good. Good. Not the best I've had. Well, next guest, Morella, is hoping for the best this evening. Hey, Lazaro, how are you? Come stai? Okay. Bella. Vieni dentro, vieni, vieni, vieni dentro. Come stai? Bene. I'm expecting to have some fun. Yep, nothing says fun like jewel tones. She had a teal shirt. Teal is not bright. Yeah, I'm not like these girls. I'm talking about the really happy, really, no, colors. The dress code seems uh, pretty uh, intense. Maybe he just likes colors. You're just figuring that out now? Lazaro, yeah. I, I like your, um, yeah, your tonight, bright line. Well, neon, 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 that's neon. Yeah, neon. Tonight is going to be a colorful night, right? If Lou and Erica have played along. Erica, Lou! Hey, Lazaro, how are you? Nice to see you. Wearing tan. I interpreted very colorful as in nothing black. That's an interesting interpretation. I was the only one that was colorful. Cheers to that. Viva l'Italia! Viva l'Italia! For a change. When you're with Lazaro, you don't get anything less than Italian. Which explains the mozzarella. Buffalo. And his wedding photo. Oh, what? my God. Oh, my God. Morella, look at that. Wow, unbelievable. Oh, my God, that looks like a clown outfit. Look at those eyebrows. They look like caterpillars. You gotta do something, man. I gotta wax those things. I think he stands out more than the bride. She absolutely looks angelic. But his costume, it's gotta go. Yeah. But there's more where that came from. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what are these? Dresses. Lazaro wears dresses. Like... How does that happen? Oh, my. I wonder if he's going to put them on tonight. This is what the colorful was for, I think. Okay. It was very Lazaro. Meaning? Drag queens would have a heyday in that closet. Sounds a little sketchy. Oh, look at these. Oh, sketches. He must design clothes. I'm going to hope that's what he does. I was definitely a little confused. And it's about to get worse. I never understand why there's multiple forks. You've got to be kidding. She is young. I never know which one to start with. The basic rule of thumb, the fork is a fork, pick one. <laughs> and quit your whining, will ya? They bring in some amarone, mm -hmm. right? Woo, amarone. It's my favorite. Great. I had no idea what it was. It's a red. It's a very rich, heavy-bodied red. Wine? It's a wine, yes. Oh, it's a wine, OK. Actually, it's not even the least bit OK. A an Italian not knowing an, Amar an Amarone is. How could you not know what an Amarone is? At least everyone knows what caprese salad is. It's just a look at the design. The only thing missing is a little basil. This is the Italian flag. Lazaro adds a skewer of shrimp to the plate, and his double-fisted app is ready to serve. Yes. Thank you very much. A little flock. So cute. Cute? Presentation was very, very nice. Thank you. Wow. Big enough for you? Holy antipasto, man. We are at an Italian house. Manja, manja. And everything you see in this plate is made by me. Almost everything. The mushrooms, the olives, the artichokes, the salami, the cheese, but not the shrimp. 
I just cooked their prawns. You didn't catch them? You didn't go fishing? No, I didn't. Who makes their own salamis and their own cheeses? Someone who's trying to prove he's Italian. I don't need to try. This is an Italian person that uh, is Italian. If you think Lazaro's antipasto would be the perfect accent for your next dinner party, you can find the recipe online at wnetwork.com. You really made the meats all by yourself? Like she, 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 she. I think that's a big C, Lulu. It's very, very good. It's very good. Like how good? I could have had that all night. It actually reminds me of something that I would have at my grandmother's house. I think it's fantastic. But does Erica? I love the pancetta. It tastes so good. That's it? That's all? No bitching, no complaining? I can't say anything bad about it. Bet you Morella can. I'm not quite sure about the cheese. Is it supposed to be that hard? Or yes, yes. Oh, it's yes. supposed oh, to be yeah. hard. Oh, okay. it's, a hard, it's a hard cheese. The Morella. It's just known. So what's the story with the dresses? Nice segue. Hello, that's a little off track, isn't it? I design a clothing line. Of course you do. I'm a music producer, I'm a fashion designer, I'm a husband, I'm, uh, you know, a cook. It was in the newspapers, I was in the news. It was uh, in the newspaper? Yes. Come on. Is he making it all up? What's going on? Like, what's the real deal? Like, come on. In Italy, I told you yesterday I was used to be an actor. I don't know if I believe all this. Or what happens next. Right. So you guys, each one of you guys get a plate and bring it to the kitchen for me. <laughs> Thank you very much. I thought it was so hilarious. Except he's serious. This is slavery. What's up with this? Coming up on Come Dine With Me, they're getting jiggy with it. <laughs> We're midweek into the Battle of the Italians, and so far, everyone thinks Lazaro's party is totally... Wow. He definitely does have good taste. Hey, it's in his jeans. My mother, she was a singer, for, a folk singer. Oh, a folk singer? Folk. Uh, should we have bleeped that? She used folk. to sing folk. folk. Folk, okay. Oh, folk. So you're musically inclined? Not really, not really. I play 14 different instruments. That, to me, is very musically inclined. But Lou likes to play solo. Have I ever been married? No. Am I ever going to get married? Probably not. Okay, why? It seems to work for a while, and then it's like, oh, you're, you're not who you say you are. Bitter much? I kind of felt bad for him. And Lulu. I'm divorced. You divorced? How many years? How many years? Can I ask you? Ten years. So I guess the skeleton from the closets all came out. Ooh. And there were bad skeletons. And? And we'll just leave it at that. Uh, no, we won't. He had a past that basically still continued in the present. In the present, because he basically lied through your relationship. But there are people out there that won't lie. So what if you met someone that's not? OK, we need to change the subject. Good idea. Lazaro, how's that mane doing? The first thing that I'm going to do is to prepare the lamb. Which consists of dipping each chop into an egg mixture, breadcrumbs, and cornmeal. This is really good. It's amazing. Sure, if you like lamb. Don't like lamb. Never tried it, and I never will. So how do you know you don't like it if you've never tried it? There's just something about a lamb that when I see it, I just, I can't. Because they're so cute. I think they're cute too, but they're very delicious, and that kind of weighs the cuteness for me. Sorry. When I'm in a supermarket, and I'm shopping, and I'm at the meat counter, I'm in tears. Morella, you really need to get out more often. Moi? <laughs> I eat kangaroo. I love eating deer. I love, oh, yeah. Love your la, 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 la. You see, lamb doesn't seem so bad now, does it? There we go. Into a big pan of oil. Now the other ones say, come on, move. I want to be in. OK, go in. I want to come, too. Just make sure you don't overcook them. Yeah, it's going to be medium well. Which will take forever. So, time for a dance lesson. Go, Erica. Go, Erica. Go, Erica. You snap your arms, just kind of, yeah, exactly. And as you do that, your body naturally goes. And there you go. In your head, and you just go with it. Exactly, there you're doing it. <laughs> Yay, Lulu. And who knew Morella had that much crunk in her trunk? <laughs> Lou's turn. <laughs> I think we're, we were the whitest group to try to actually do dance hip hop. That's okay, because Lazaro is almost finished, almost done. Make that overdone, but luckily, Lazaro knows how to disguise it with asparagus and one lonely cherry tomato. Bellissima! This is for Mirella. Grazie. I really love Lazaro's presentation. What's not to love? Two pieces of lamb, a string of asparagus. 
and a huge plank of food. Some bread for everybody with more meat on the table because in Italy we call abbondanza. Wow. It's silly, it's stupid. And it's also Italian Canadians. <laughs> Ugh. If I have to hear our Italian Canadian one more time, <laughs> it's like, it's just stop. Uh, buon appetito. Thank Grazie. you. Thank you. The, the dish, it looks beautiful. Thank you. In the presentation. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Morella, you said it. You love the presentation, I get it. Unfortunately, I don't like lamb. Why you don't eat lamb? Uh, I'm an animal lover. Oh. But she eats chicken and fish. I just can't bring myself to eat this. Are you a vegetarian? No, she's just a pain in the neck. I couldn't eat the lamb because it was too cute. And I feel bad because I'm not a big lamb lover either. Oh, come on, just try it. I did try the lamb. And? I didn't like it because it was it was almost raw. Can you cook mine a little more? More? It was not to my liking. Erika. I hate asparagus. Oh, <laughs> it's actually okay. the one vegetable that I right. can't even, I can't stand. Wow, tell us how you really feel. It's all one big happy family. Which isn't saying much, eh, Lou? So one day, I had just had a bath. I think I was 11. So I came down the stairs, and as I was walking by the front door, my brother pulled off my towel, <laughs> so I was naked, pushed me out the front door oh, into the street. Oh, no. oh, Slammed the door and locked it. Oh my god! And then my grandmother found out and she came down and started smacking me in the middle of the street for being outside naked. Oh no! And I was crying. <laughs> my brother is behind the window laughing. If my brother did that to me, I'd probably take him out Sicilian style. Coming up on Come Dine With Me, the beat goes on. Tonight, loud and proud Italian Lazaro is doing his best to please the mob. Mm -mm. What? Trouble. What's wrong with the word mob? See, it bothers me when uh, I go in a place and uh, sometimes they ask me, where are you from? And I say, I'm Italian. By the way, they think, uh, oh, Italians, they are mafiosos. We are crime. That really bothers me. You know what? It doesn't bother me. When people hear that I'm Sicilian, they sort of like back away from me. It makes me crazy. It drives me insane. You know what I hate? When people use their fingers to make zeppoli. Zeppoli, I'm not quite sure what it is. Oh, Lou, it's an Italian donut with one big difference. They have brandy inside. Mmm, brandy. I don't know if they're going to enjoy it, but I'm confident that it's good. Uh, it's not the zeppoli you should be worried about. Do you think it's homemade ice cream? Anybody can run to the store and buy a carton of ice cream. Yep, it's really that easy. That's my homemade ice cream. No? No, but at least Lazaro's chocolate sauce is from scratch. <whistles> Lazaro adds a drizzle of honey to the plate, and then... Finito. Zeppoli and <clears throat> homemade ice cream is ready to serve. Wow. You like that, do you? The presentation was nice. So nice. It looked like a, it looked like a fried piece of dough with chocolate and honey on it. Uh, maybe because that's what it is? <clears throat> Here it comes. I want to uh, compliment you on the presentation. Enough with the presentation. <laughs> presentation is very nice. Moving on. Did I say I love the presentation? I did. Yes. I like the, the chocolate. I like the consistency of your zeppelin. I absolutely love zeppelin. That's sweet. A little too sweet for me. The zeppelin are very light or very airy. So I like that. They're cooked perfectly. Hmm, no mention of the taste. Interesting. There was a weird taste to it. The dough was undercooked. The espresso is very good, though. Thank you. In Sicily, we don't make um, zeppole. We make a thing called um, spingy. Yeah. Which is much, much better. I did not like it. Is the ice cream homemade as well? Because no. you made everything else. No, no. What? You can make your own salami, but you can't make an ice cream. No, but he can make beautiful music. Come on, guys, are you ready? Welcome to Lazaro's Rave. What's a rave? Just dance, Morella. Just jam out like this, really. That's it. Is that rapping? OMG, how old are you? Are you fun, guys? Maybe a little too much fun in some cases. 
Mm, mm, ray, ray, ray. Fantastic way to end the night. Unless you're Lou. The whole time I was dancing, I was actually in my mind thinking, make it stop. <laughs> and all Lazaro can think is. <laughs> Nailed it. Yes, yes, I will going to be the lead. Wouldn't that be ecstasy? What's your ray for the first time? Oh my god, like it was like. <laughs> yes, we know, we were there. I'm gonna give Luzaro a seven. His antipasto was amazing. His rave was kick ass. Unfortunately, the rest of his dinner party kind of flopped. I'm giving Luzaro an eight. The first time I've ever been to a rave, but probably the last time. Rave on six. Bellissima! Three scores in, and Lazaro's already at 21 points. But will he be able to catch Erica? Oots, oots, oots. Six. Wah, wah. With 27 points, Lazaro lands just behind Erica in second place with only two more nights to go. This princess is number one. Io sono numero uno. I didn't come here to lose. Tomorrow's my night, and I'm really going to show them how Sicilian entertains. Alla bella Sicilia. On the next episode of Come Dine With Me, it's round four. I smell the winnings. Will the sour Sicilian be sour grapes? Or will she make a great impression? And this is how the Sicilians do it. As Come Dine With Me Italian Style continues. It's the sound of victory. Pasta, pepperoni, parmesan, and paisans. Oh. Tonight, Italiano Week continues. Alla bella Sicilia. Will unlucky in love Lulu? This is where all the love comes in. Win over the mob? I found a hair. Come on, that's insane. Ah, get over it, eat it. This is Come Dine With Me Italian Style. Woohoo! This is how the Sicilians do it. Bada bing, bada boom, it's Italian week. And tonight's host is Lulu, a tough talking Sicilian who isn't afraid to get her hands dirty. It's like that saying, you know, keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. Yikes! She's a sweet girl, a sweet lady. But? We'll never be friends. That's tomorrow night's host, Lou, who thinks he's got the winning plan. My strategy is to be Switzerland. Interesting, considering it's Italian week. I'm gonna make it rain Lira. Much better. Lou's a mama's boy. He's like the boy next door. He's so cute. But things got downright ugly when Morella hosted on night one. That was the worst gnocchi I've ever had. We don't have the same tastes. Yeah, because they all like that authentic crap. You Canadianized the Morella. Oh, holy, I'm sorry. And because of that, Morella ended up with a paltry 23 points. I love Morella. She's so sweet. And so, five points behind Erica, who on night two had everyone eating out of the palm of her 21-year-old hands. I'm really impressed because you're so young and you can do this. With the thousand dollars, I'm gonna buy all new plastic couch covers. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is so Italian. <laughs> and so is last night's host, Lazaro. Lazaro. Eh, the Italian stallion. Viva l'Italia! Viva l'Italia! How did he came here to lose? Or to listen to the Canadians whine about the main course. Unfortunately, I don't like lamb. I feel bad because I'm not a big lamb lover either. Italians, they love lamb. But at least Lazaro's entertainment got rave reviews. Hey, guys. V for victory. And C for close but no cigar because Lazaro landed just behind Erica with 27 points. What can you do? Well, for starters, you could smile. Sicilians are warm, warm people. Could have fooled me. Um, I'm easygoing and lovable. Keep telling yourself that. Eh, that's gonna work. She's just so, mm, she's like my second mother. For you. She doesn't let anybody too close. I'm a tough cookie. And maybe a smart one too, if she can win everyone over with her appetizer of mussels, shrimp, and scallops in a peasant style sauce, otherwise known as Suppa di cozze, gambare, capesante, alla paisana. That sounds something Sicilian. They do a lot of seafood there. I love seafood. Hallelujah. Oh, geez, this is not going to work. It's the mussels, right? I don't like uh, mu mussels. Is it the hermaphrodite thing? I got one time, they brought me to the hospital, and they keep me there for more half a day because I got poisoned. If they closed, they're fine. 
Hopefully she cooks them properly. She's more preoccupied with her peasant sauce, which includes celery, shallots, onions, garlic, and... This is my own herb infused olive oil. Who knew? I'm really, really impressed with that. But what about this? Anchovies. Ew. In Sicily, anchovies are used often. Like how often? A lot. A lot. A lot. Yummy. If you think Lulu's dish is a bit fishy, tweet us. Hashtag CDWMC. I smell the winnings. I'm not worried. You should be. So last ingredient is our family's homemade sauce. Very good. But will her main course be? Because Lulu's making... Oh, my God. Okay. Sp oh, my God. Spigo sp spigola in... Car... Carcio... Okay. Carcio... Wait. Carcio... 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 Blah, blah, blah. Anyone here speak Italian? Okay. The main course is... Spigola in cartoccia. Translation, Mediterranean sea bass. This is wrapped in parchment paper. And fresh as can be. Good morning, Roger. Good morning, how are you? Well, how are you? I'm well, thank you. What's cooking? I was hoping to cook some of uh, the European sea bass, the Branzino. Yeah, sure. We've got uh, some fresh just came in today. It's a very cheap fish to buy in Italy. I'm looking forward to it. Even if it's looking at you? Oh, the head's definitely going to be on it. I hope he doesn't serve it with the head on. Morello wins. Lulu heads home with her fish, drizzles olive oil on sliced spuds. Then into the fish, she stuffs parsley and... Two slices of lemon. How cute. Fish are not too cute to eat. A lamb is too cute to eat. Lulu wraps the whole shebang up in a little parchment pocket. And it's like you're wrapping up a sandwich. And voila. Easy to do. Nothing difficult there. Or over here with the veggies. Hopefully it's not asparagus. Surprise, it's asparagus. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. But will the same be said for Lulu's dessert? Torta di ricotta. It's a cake made with ricotta cheese. Thanks for coming out, Galileo. Mm, I love this. Yes, I love torta di ricotta. To make the cake, Lulu adds exactly three cups of flour. When it comes to desserts, you definitely have to follow a recipe. Then what's with eyeballing the salt? I can eyeball a quarter teaspoon, I think. I'm hoping one of the courses flops. Lulu adds four tablespoons of sugar, pulses, then cuts in butter. Yes, it's better than cutting the cheese. Lulu made it funny. <laughs> Lulu rolls out the cake dough. I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh, Lulu, I don't think you got it. It's not coming together. That's not very good. Well... It's a little bit disgusting, huh? The filling won't be, because it's made with eggs and thick, rich, creamy ricotta cheese. Yum-e. A1. I am allergic to ricotta. Oh, don't you worry. Mama Lulu's got you covered. To make her happy, I'm going to make her my famous tiramisu. I'm glad she took that into consideration. Well, it's not out of the goodness of her own heart. If I don't get top points for this, I'll send my family back home from Sicily after them. Bring it on. Lulu gets the ricotta cake into the oven, but the pressure's still on. I'm not worried at all about a bunch of Italians eating my tiramisu. You're making tiramisu. Why you did the cannoli? You're Sicilian. Lulu combines eggs, sugar, and mascarpone into her trusty blender. This mixture is much more reliable than a man. Then folds in whipped egg whites. This is where all the love comes in. And what's love without a little booze? Almond liqueur, to be exact. Lolo, this is great. Yes, it is definitely alcoholic. Then Erica's not going to like that. No. <laughs> I didn't, it just dawned on me. She's going to be having some booze tonight. Because she's not a drinker. Oh, well. Lulu dunks the lady fingers into the boozy coffee mixture, and then it's all about the layering. Fresh cream and two types of chocolate. You don't need chocolate. Actually, she does. I got to win tonight. This princess does not lose. I put the it in Italy. I'm going to knock it out of the park. Time for the number one. Insert heavy sigh. <sighs> Coming up on Come Dine With Me, Lulu's guests work up a sweat. But will her app be a knockout? I don't like muscles. I love muscles. Ah, get over it. Mamma mia! It's Italian week, and host Lulu thinks her night is going to be a big hit with the mob. Better watch out, Morella. Yay! Hey, 
How are you? How are you? I'm well. Not like when you hosted Morella. I look like a mess. I look like I just came out of the shower. The alcohol helps. Woohoo! There you go. Careful, don't drink too much. What the heck? Better get your fair share before Lou the Lush arrives. Hey, hey how are you? How are you, Lou? Oh, great. What's with the lid, Lou? I flatten the hair. Oh, I'm sure no one will notice. Wow, eh? You like? A little bit, just a little bit. But Erica's got a lot of explaining to do with this outfit. Amy! This is for you. <laughs> yeah. I did bust out the cheetah print tonight. I'm sure that will go over well. Erica. Hi, guys. <laughs> Our eyes are like popping out of our head. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Will it pull anybody? It's just cheetah print, Morella. This is the, you know, the housewife who stays at home and takes care of her husband and cleans and cooks and watches her cats and writes complaint letters. But she's still not as boring as Erica. I have rum. Mm. I have vodka. Mm. I have whiskey. And no pop, no juice, and no water. She was very determined to get me to drink. Then rum and cola it is. Yes, I got her. Too bad you don't have your last guest. Lazaro, but see, he's not here yet. I'm actually getting now quite worried. Slash annoyed. Everybody else made it on time. Can you imagine him in the taxi? Mario, what are you waiting for? I've got a dinner party to go to. Is it, wasn't one of your pet peeves people being late? Yes. It happens. What are you going to do? Make up a cockamamie excuse? Hey, Lulu, I'm very sorry. I went up a lot join. My taxi driver, he was going around the blocks. It's, okay. No, it's, it's okay. okay. It's okay. It's okay. Something tells me it's not okay. Exactly what we thought. It's a taxi driver. Ah, get over it. Let me put him back in my smile. Okay. On with the party. We're gonna have a hell of a time. Salute to La Bella Sicilia. Salute. 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 And to Lulu downing some vino and getting her scallop seared. Do you hear that sizzle? You mean that hissing sound? It's the sound of the food. But Lazaro and Erica sure don't like the look of Lulu's closet. I'm not a big expert, but isn't this men's clothing? I think so. But uh, she's not married. She's wearing uh, men clothes. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if there's some cross-dressing going on here. I don't know what's you happening. Think so? you think I, eventually I don't know. She has uh, some skeletons. We I are in a closet. closet. I was kind of like. Hmm. And Morella and Lou are like... Oh, wow. Like, wow, it's like a home is, gym. This wow, is awesome. Wow, this is awesome. Yeah, total knockout. Care to go around? What the hell? Why not? Oh, please. What was that? Morella. No. Really? Uh, I don't know. You, 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 yep. Punch it. Is that was like maybe crazy? There you go. <laughs> Pretend it's Lazaro oh, again. <laughs> She obviously never goes to the gym. I go to the gym, but I just don't do things like that. Speaking of which, how are those muscles going, Lulu? Everything's gonna go just smooth. I love muscles. I don't like muscles. Of course you don't. There's always something that this, this woman does not like. I love muscles. Do you? Yeah. Really? OK, so you can have my muscles then. It's no problem. Great, because Lulu's app is almost ready. And so is the focaccia. Lulu places two pieces on each plate. And voila, ecco il mio primo piatto. I think that means Lulu's seafood appetizer is ready to serve. Mirella, for you. Grazie. Wow. Looking good, eh? As Mirella would say, I love the presentation. Oh, come on. She's not that predictable. Lulu, I want to compliment you on the presentation of this dish. OMG. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not a muscle person. I don't eat muscles. Oh, okay. I don't like them. But I downed the scallops and the shrimps because those were my favorite. So that means you liked it, right? I liked it, except for the muscles. Let it go, Morella. I love muscles. Muscles are one of my favorite things. As you can see, I'm almost finished. But look at all that leftover sauce. I wasn't the happiest with the, the sauce. Erica was. The sauce was fabulous. And the focaccia was was good. Just one good? It's really, really good. Much better. Sorry, Lou, Lou but I can eat the muscle because there's a long story behind That's it. That's fine. I feel very bad I can eat it, but I eat all the rest, and I love it. He loved it! Very good. Fantastic. Way to go, Lulu. But how are you going to dance around this? 
I know you said you've been divorced for 10 years. Why do you have about 40 pairs of men's clothing in your closet? What's up with that? I moved in um, with a friend, a boy. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were a couple. Well, anyways, uh, we're roommates now. We're no longer a couple, we just live together. Oh! Sounds fishy to me. Nothing romantic mm -hmm. about it. Uh, okay. That completely shocked me. If you were to actually meet someone, how, how would that, like, how would you? I, if I were to meet someone, I wouldn't bring him to the house because I'd feel very uncomfortable. No guff. I can't uh, put myself in that situation. Why not? Growing up was very, very difficult with my father. He's extremely, he was extremely strict. I had curfews, no trips, no camping, no restaurants. Come on, that's insane. And to watch TV in the basement, my, it was like my uh, Freddy, me, and my dad. Yeah, they would Watch leave her TV. alone because God forbid, you know what could happen if they're left yeah. alone. I'm so glad I wasn't born in that generation. Coming up on Come Dine With Me, Help! Morella gets catty. Oh dear. Okay. It's night four of our Battle Italia. Salute. 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 And sardonic Sicilian Lulu is surprisingly ecstatic. I'm feeling wonderful. <laughs> and Morella's feeling no pain. Hi. Oh my god. I think Morella is funny. That makes one of you. <laughs> this woman's crazy. Cat fight. <laughs> You're a freak. Unfortunately, I didn't enjoy it, the cat that I was sitting beside me. Hey, Lou, can we take turns? I don't know. <laughs> he was afraid of what she was going to do to him. <laughs> Better hurry up with that sea bass, Lulu. This is uh, the tricky part. I just want to play it perfectly. Then go ahead. Do you think, like, if there's good, the head's going to be on it, or do you think it's going to be cut? Because I have a little issues. I have issues well, with that. Shocker. You must be kid, yeah? She's not. The Mediterranean sea bass was also known as Branzino. Mm. If she makes it traditionally, it will still have the head on. Do a boat head. I, I hope it does, because that's the way it's supposed to be. How about you? I don't think it will. Good guess, Erica. No head, but a lot of spuds and veggies. Lulu's main course is ready to serve. Erica, this one here is for you. Thank you very much. No asparagus. Oh, thank you. Suck up. That was so sweet. Wow, that's beautiful. Again with the beautiful. I watch my cooking shows, and they say that. And they also say dig in. So go for it. Why you remove the head? The in Italy, we eat that yes. is the best part of the fish. I thought some people might be freaked out, so I had it removed. Makes sense. No, you don't do that. Lazaro wants head? <laughs> no comment. Did you hear what Lou said? I'm just too done listening. I'm just eating. You're just going to eat and ignore everything, right? Ignore? That's right. If they want to be clowns, they can be clowns. And what if they want to be blown away? I absolutely love the fish. It's cooked perfectly, moist, tender, just the way I like it. Beautifully done. Which means all Lulu's harried work has paid off. Unfortunately, I found a hair inside of my sea bass, and that really turned me off of it. Really? Because you're still eating it. It couldn't have turned you off that much. I wanted to be polite. Unlike Lou. It is done very well. I prefer it um, roasted or grilled. In other words, Lou still hasn't found what he's looking for. You know who you remind me of, right? He reminds me of Bono from U2. Bono? I look nothing like Bono. Bono's hot, eh? He's a hottie toddy. He's a cutie patootie. And so, not your type. Being gay, I didn't want to tell my family. Uh, beg your pardon? I didn't know he was gay. I was very shocked. I knew her right away. The one person I never wanted to find out that I was gay was my grandmother because I loved her to death and I thought she's never going to accept it because she's this old Italian woman. And we were sitting there having something to eat and my brother says, no, no. Lou is gay. And I just went, like my face fell, because I'm like, oh, God, here it comes. It's, she's going she's gonna to start screaming. And she goes, gay. What's gay? What's gay? What's gay? <laughs> and he goes, he sleeps with men. 
And then what happened? From that day forward, she kept trying to set me up with men. <laughs> wow. What a cool nonna. He's very, very, very lucky. My grandmother was the best thing in the world. Coming up on Come Dine With Me, Morella goes nuts. Did you put almonds on top of the tiramisu? Yes, I did. You don't put almonds on tiramisu. Tonight, five Italians are fighting it out for a $1,000 prize. And Lulu's in La Casa laughing all the way to the banca. I feel wonderful. I feel great. I feel confident. I got it. We underestimated Lulu. Has ever anybody ever wondered why I'm called Lulu? Anyone? Anyone? Mm, nope. It's a nickname. I didn't care. Back, back home, back in town, where my grandparents grew up, they used to call my grandmother Caluzza, Caluzza, you know? From Luzza, somehow, Lulu arrived, and I ended up being called uh, Lulu. Listen, Kaluza, just serve the ricotta cake, will ya? That's gonna be the winner. I can't eat it. Oh, that's right, the ricotta allergy. I did make something uh, different for um, Erica. I made her a tiramisu, and I also made a little one for everyone else to try it out. Great idea. Lulu's double Italian dessert special is ready to serve. Well, guys, I have your desserts. That's great. Ooh, That's what I was looking for. Erica? The sweetest. I know. You're allergic <laughs> yes. to ricotta. So I made your tiramisu, Thank even you though so it's not much. Sicilian. Thank you. I, I actually really appreciate that. I couldn't have been more grateful for that. She's a good host. But the real proof is in the pudding, or in this case, the ricotta cake and tiramisu. The tiramisu is amazing. It's really good. So there's nothing bad about it? The only downfall was there was almonds in it. Almonds? Did you put almonds on top of the tiramisu? Yes, I did. Strike one. You don't put almonds on tiramisu. No, like that's like a no-no. But I know that the tiramisu, you have to do it prepare in advance. So and I, I did. You did? OK, she kind of did. There's a little bit still hard here. Busted. The tiramisu should be prepared at least 24 hours in advance. Well, what about the ricotta cake? This, it surprised me. I wasn't expecting to like it, but I think it's, I think it's good. So it's official. Mamma mia, Lulu, era buonissimo. Translation? I won, I won. Don't get too ahead of yourself. Lulu, you are a very great host, and I give you a seven. I really enjoyed myself, but the food wasn't perfect. Seven. I'm giving Lulu a seven because her food fell flat, but her hosting made up for it. Bueno! Those three sevens put Lulu in striking distance of frontrunner Erica. But will the person at the bottom put her on top? Hey, Bella the Mama, you're so good that today I give you an eight. Eight is great because with 29 points, Lulu takes first place. I won. That's all there is to it, I won. She's a really classic Sicilian woman. I still think I got it. What's that I smell? Oh yeah, victory. I'm gonna win this Italian style. Cheers! On the next episode of Come Dine With Me Italian Style. It's not a party at my house unless everybody's drunk. I think I've had a little bit too much to drink. It's the final night. Will the claws come out? Complainer. Complainer? Don't cry. Or will it be a photo finish? Oh my God, Lou. As the ultimate Italian host is crowned. Damn, they were good. And everyone else gets the boot. <laughs> Coming up. Oh, here we go. It's the final night. I'm so good with my hands, I don't know why I'm single. Will a Canadian-born braggart... Looks perfectly done. ...give everyone the boot? Whoa! You gotta be kidding me. This is Come Dine With Me... ...Italian Style. I'm surprised that we all haven't killed each other yet. It's the final night in our week-long battle for the ultimate Italian bragging rights. Mamma mm, mia. Which would be a feather in Party Boy Lou's baseball cap. I don't have a single friend who's an Italian-Canadian. They're rude, they're obnoxious, and they're generally all around dumb. Aw, oh, Lou, where's the love? I had sex at, at, on the subway. Ta uh, what? Sometimes I'll say things that I probably shouldn't say. But since it's out there... <laughs> it was the last train. Uh, DuPont Station. <laughs> We got caught. <laughs> what a surprise. Says Morella, who on night one served up chicken, fennel salad, and an irritating slide whistle. It was a really, really, really nice night.
with a really, really, really low score. Morella only got 23 points. This Italian does it better. Definitely, because on night two, 21-year-old underdog Erica served not one, not two, but three courses of homemade pasta. Erica, I want to see that this is delicious. Erica not only raised the bar, but the scoreboard, too, as she took the lead with 28. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 because even despite Lazaro making everything from scratch and hosting a fist-pumping rave, he scored one less point than Erica, mostly because Morella refused to eat his lamb. I just, I can't. I don't have any words. You sure? I don't have any words. That's a first. Lazaro is your, my typical ex-boyfriend. <laughs> but last night, Lulu... Salute to la bella Sicilia. ...won him and everyone else over with her Sicilian seafood medley. It is done very well. Well, everyone except for... Morella, obviously. Obviously. Unfortunately, I'm not a muscle person. I don't eat muscles. Oh, okay. I don't like them. I don't know what her problem is. <laughs> You're a freak. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Maybe take it down a notch? <laughs> there goes that theory. Marilla has no life. But Lulu has a good chance of winning, because she's in top spot with 29 points. I think last night was the, um, was the best party so far. Mine's going to be better. I don't think he has the culinary skills to beat Lulu. You might want to take that back when you see his app. Orochiette con cime de rape salsicha. AKA Orochetti Pasta with sausage and rapini. Absolutely love rapini. It's my favorite vegetable. Love it, love it, love it. Who doesn't? I don't really enjoy your rapini. If they don't like it like rapini, then they're not a true Italian. Ooh, snap. Lou, you never been in Italy. You were the last time you was in Italy, I think it was like two years old, three years old. Sword fight. <laughs> Come on, grow up. Yeah, it's just a sausage. I'm hoping it's hot Italian sausage. And the verdict is? I like sweet and spicy, but tonight we're going for sweet sausage. Sweet. That sounds very good. And it also sounds very homemade. That would impress the hell out of me if he made the orichetti himself. If you're going to serve pasta at dinner party, then you should make it yourself. Bravo, Luigi. No, I don't think he's going to make it homemade, no. You lose. I think this is how all the non Italian nonas stay fit, by making this all the time. After Lou kneads the dough, he rolls out the pasta and shapes it into little ears. It's not difficult to make homemade pasta. What's that, Morella? I can't hear you. <laughs> Good one, Lou. <laughs> If you think Lou's gonna laugh all the way to the bank, then sound off on Twitter using hashtag CDWMC. If Lazaro has any criticism about it, I'll take it well because it's probably, it's probably true. Come on, you can give, I don't give this uh, to an Italian because you're going to look at me so, are you kind of from Mark? But will the planets align for Lou tonight when he presents his main course of rosemary crusted roast pork with rice stuffed tomatoes braised cipollini onions, and green beans. Wow. I'm really looking forward to it. That's great, because you're going to live high on the hog tonight. Oink, oink. If you like pork, I got the perfect piece for you right here. Now that's what I'm talking about. Perfect. I don't like it. Why not? Pigs are adorable. I love them. I love every animal. So does Lou, but he just happens to like his pig smothered in yummy rosemary crust. I love rosemarina. Yes. I don't know any Italian that hates rosemary. I'm not going to eat the pork or the rosemary. I guess Marla's going to order a pizza tonight. Or she could just fill up on the rice stuffed tomatoes. Excellent. I love rice stuffed tomatoes. And who doesn't love cipollini onions? It's wrong because you're never going to put the cipollini onions uh, no, in a main course. What about the green beans? If it's raw green beans, then I'll eat it no problem. Too bad they're cooked. Actually make that steamed. That should go well with the pork loin. To the green beans, Lou adds a handful of dried... Oregano. Chopped up onions, balsamic vinegar, salt, pepper, and a healthy glug of olive oil. And that's how I measure. But will his dessert measure up? Lou's serving strawberry crustata and honey vanilla gelato. I love sweets. I hope he would make the gelato himself. Of course he will. Yes! Lou pours out whole milk. Skim milk may be better for your hips, but it's not better for the gelato. Next, Lou adds a third of a cup of sugar and a scoop of honey. And a fresh Madagascar vanilla bean. Which are the best in the world. 
Now you have got a very good dessert. Really? Because his Nona says Lou likes to stir the pot. Yes, my Nona did hit me with a wooden spoon. This is not a difficult dessert to make at all. But the strawberry crustata is a whole other story. He better make this crust himself. Yeah, you see, that's the problemo. In all honesty, pastry has never been my strong suit. Come on, Lou. It's just flour, eggs, salt, and water. It's not difficult. Nope. You just have to be a man with a slow hand and an easy touch. I'm so good with my hands, I don't know why I'm single. <laughs> And he's good with a rolling pin, too. So far, so good. Lou cuts, fills, folds, and fires it up. I'm pumped to win. Arrivederci. I'm coming tonight to collect the money. Are you insulting me? <sighs> coming up, Molto Vino. I am looking at it because her eyes are going to get That wine hit her pretty fast. It's the final night of our week-long Italian food fight, and Canadian-born Lou has set his table and changed into his best golf shirt. How cash. You gotta go with what you gotta go with and hope for the best. Or what? Or f*** him. Language, please. There's a lady at the door. Hey, how are you? Oh, good, how are you? Excited. Viva Italia. And good hosts. I've got Prosecco, red wine, white wine. I have strawberry lemonade. Which has rum in it. I have strawberry lemonade. Strawberry lemonade. Yeah. Booze, really? The last day, you got to let loose a little bit, right? Let's hope Lulu's in good spirits, too. Hey, hey Lulu, how are you? I'm OK. My turn to walk into my house. <laughs> it's a pleasure being here. I felt very welcomed. That's because Lou actually likes you. There's two people left to show up. So? Who do you think is going to be last? I hope it's Morella. You hope it's Morella? I hope she gets lost, actually. What? No likey Morella? No, not at all. I actually thought it was going to be Lazaro that I didn't like. Yes. But I think Lazaro's a great guy. And he's it, hilarious. And, and, and he's also here. Lazaro! Oh, oh my God, how are you? Relieved. I was happy, really happy to come here tonight because finally this is coming to be over. That's cause for celebration. I have Prosecco, I have Italian beer, I have... Italian beer? Beer. Yes. Beer. Jackpot! I was really happy to have an Italian beer. It's got to be easier to swallow than this. Manella, how are you? How are you? Come on in. How are you doing? I'm pretty good, how are you? Good, this is for you, my love. Thank you. And you know what? We're gonna have, we're having a little bit of a party in the kitchen. Oh, okay. So just make your, on, make your way on into the kitchen. This is going to be a good night. Their hackles. Come on, give me a break. You are not the party. We're already here. You're just entering, just shh. And manja, manja. <laughs> I made a little bit something to snack on while we're waiting. Okay. Wow. That's wonderful. Perfect way to start. Salute to night five. All right. Salute. I think it's going to be a great night. With a lot of action. I'm handling two sausages at once. Such a pro. My grandmother would be so proud. That you finally have girls in your bedroom? Wow, oh. it's white. Wow. It's, it's, it's bland. It's bland, you think? Kind of sterile type thing, you know? What the heck is that? What does it look like, Morella? It's a sewing machine. I thought that was weird. Now, Erica, don't get catty. Oh, Morella, not again. I couldn't help it. My cat instincts came out. <laughs> it was hilarious, I got to admit. What will Lazaro admit to? This, this is my color. Neon pink. Do you have anything neon pink? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. A bathing suit. That's right. How you know? Italians. Seriously? Seriously? Is that who I think it is? No. Oh, my God. No way. Yep, that's Lou. Drunk and drunk and drunk and drunk. And a bag of chips in between his legs. Oh. As you do. Oh my God, Lou. I can't believe you. I know, who likes plain potato chips? I wouldn't expect that from Lou. Nothing wrong with being three sheets to the wind. Oh my God, guys, look at this. It's a bed sheet. No, it isn't. No, yes. it's not. It's just a white tablecloth. No, it wasn't a tablecloth. It was a bed sheet. I don't believe that. It, it is. is. It is no, a bed it sheet. No, it is. Yeah. It, it is. is. We should be using a bed to cover our beds that, right? 
Wrong. But that's not tonight's only shocker. Perfect. How's she drinking tonight? I know. I, I did say tonight's the night I was going to get drunk. And have some delicious pasta. Lou adds orichetti to his fennel sausage, adds some grated Parmesan cheese, plates, and the appetizer is ready to serve. Okay, guys, so I have the first course. Yay! You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I know, eh? Pasta for a nap. What an imposter. Body, I come from Italy, and I be stuck with my traditions. It's traditions. I hope you all enjoy it. Not so fast. I want to first start complimenting you on your presentation. Go ahead, because no one else was planning on it. <laughs> the only thing I don't like is I can taste fennel. Your point being? I don't like fennel. It's strong. Like, come on, give me a Give me a break. Yeah, because what did old Morella serve on her night? That's right. You serve the salad with the fennel, Mirella. I love the fennel in the sausage because Sicilians normally put fennel in the sausage. So there, Morella. I served the fennel bulb, and that's different. No, it isn't. Oh, you surprised me. I surprised you. Very good. At absorbing alcohol? I ate as much as I could, um, being drunk. Hope no one notices. I am looking at it because her eyes are like this. <laughs> That wine hit her pretty fast. I'm gonna have to roll her out tonight. <laughs> or just take a picture so you can embarrass her later. Aww. Do you want some potato chips? <laughs> <laughs> Lou, what's the matter? Was your crotch hungry? I, I love this picture because for years before, I, I wasn't in a happy place. So I wouldn't do anything fun. I just stayed home all the time. Finally, you and I finally thought, you know what? I'm gonna have a good time. Life is for living, and I did. Way to go, Lou. <laughs> Morella, if you'd like the picture, you can have the picture. Why do I need a picture for? Souvenir. For the night. No, this is the last one. <laughs> what am I going to do with a picture of Lou? Coming up on Come Dine With Me. Morella's definitely a complainer. It was bound to happen. <laughs> complainer? I'm a complainer? You think you're the best. No, I you're do. not. Well, this is awkward, guys. Uh -huh. It's the final night of our week-long Battle of Italia, and so far, Lou and his pork loin are doing bad, eh? Everybody seems to be in a good mood, and everybody seems to be happy. Oh, we can't have that. Now, I have to say, my first impression yeah. of you was bad. I'm like, oh, <laughs> here we go. I'm Italiano, yeah, paisano. When I walked in, I felt very young. <laughs> So I wasn't sure I'd have enough to talk about in, in common with all of you fine people. You should have walked right back out. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Then you walked in the door and I thought, oh, Mirella has entertainment. <laughs> These are just basically what I saw and how I felt and I still feel to this day. Just say it. Young, gay, vivacious complainer. Eek! Complainer? <laughs> I'm a complainer? Yeah. Apparently. Morel is definitely a complainer. Complainer? We're all wow, adults. That's a pretty strong word, complainer. Yeah, I, I find you, uh, basically, you're picky. Careful, Lulu. If I have something to say, I will say it. Then take it away. I don't know why you entered this contest when you don't like a lot of things. I, th I think that you, I think that you have a lot of um, pride. I think that you that you think that you're the best. Uh, you, no. well, okay, how do you like that? That's fine, but that's your opinion. You think you're the best. No, I, you're not. So there. Shut up. You're hurting my head. It's enough. She started it. OK, no, no. She's just expressed no, an opinion. Expressed. And I'm sure she's sorry. I don't regret what I said. Oh, boy. Well, this is awkward, guys. Uh -huh. Don't cry. I'm not crying. Good, OK? No, no, it's just raining on your face. When I saw Mirella crying, I felt so bad. You think I'm a complainer? So, who's ready for pork? Which looks like it's doing lovely, sizzling away down there. Something wrong, Morella? I don't like meat, so kill me for not liking that. Mamma mia! Poor Mirella. What's this going on, Mirella? Mm. Come on, I see you in tears. What's this going on? Why are you crying? My first guess would be Meanie McMeanster. I will not take back my comment. Well, isn't that terrific? A Mexican standoff at an Italian dinner. Good news is the stuffed tomatoes, Cipollini onions, and pork are done.
Looks perfectly done. It's still a little tiny touch of pink in the middle. Lou adds the jus on top, and his main course is ready to serve. Mmm, beautiful. It was very good. See, you two can agree on something. I hope you enjoy. The pork is cooked very well. Well done. And what else? The onions. They're really good. Finger kissing good? Buonissimo. What about the green beans? Well, I'm a little disappointed mm -hmm. that I don't have more. They're amazing. I want the recipe for the green beans. Well, isn't that a coinky dink? Because all of Lou's recipes are online at WNetwork.com. I've never had tomato uh, stuffed with rice, so it was the first time, so I was looking forward to, um, mm -hmm. to trying it. Do you like it or not like it? It's not my favorite not on this plate. Okay. Hmm, look who's picky now. What's it's called? What is, what's that saying? Calling the, the pot black? It's the kettle. Uh, your pork loin. As you know, I'm not a big meat eater, meat but, I, mm -hmm. uh, but I did take a, a bite of it, and mm -hmm. it was cooked perfectly. Not one complaint. Interesting. But I think she was just trying to make a point. I meant it. I really did. The fact that you actually took a bite, I'm honored because you tried it. Mm -hmm. And that's all that matters is you tried it and, you know, cheers. Bygones! Let's just move on with it and get to another topic of conversation. What will you do with the $1,000 if you win? The $1,000, um, I need to buy a new cell phone. My cell phone is cracked, so it's bothering the crap out of me. First world problems. So I decided to buy some bicycles and uh, from some kids that they are in Africa, mm -hmm. that every day they walk four hours to go to school and four hours to go back home just to go to school. You're lying, right? No, I'm not lying. <laughs> they thought I was kidding. I wasn't. If I win the $1,000, I'm going to get this barbecue. But now I feel guilty Why? because there's children in Africa that walk four hours to go to school. And all I'm thinking about is I want a smoked sausage. No pun intended. You're in trouble. Coming up. Whoa. The moment of truth. There's no way I'm losing tomorrow. And the winner is. We're one dish away from finding out which of these five Italians is about to be a thousand dollars richer. I'm still pretty confident. Uh, there may be a little bit of doubt coming in. Yeah, it's probably your strawberry crustata dessert. This, in all honesty, was my weakness. This dish. Well, there's always the gelato. We want the sweets. We want the sweets. Settle down, everyone. Here's the last dish of the week. I have the crostata. I'm going to serve you first. Thank you. All right. Beautiful. And one for you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, well, looks can be deceiving. I gotta tell you the truth. I tried my best for the crostata, so I hope you like it and enjoy. Lou's last shot at a thousand bones. This is definitely a homemade pastry, right? You can taste it. Uh, flaky, beautiful. Perfect. It wasn't a perfect pastry, but it was good. Really? That crostata sucked. It, it seems like it's missing something. It's just missing a little something, something for me. Sugar, perhaps? Because it wasn't sweet enough. The gelato, on the other hand. It's excellent. Very good. The gelato is unbelievable. It was to die for. It was so good. Mamma mia. Lou knocked it out of the park. Cheers! Cheers! I feel like I need the biggest glass of wine. And what else? And a really big cigarette and 30 points to win. I'm giving Lou an eight. His hosting was wonderful. Dessert was, I give you an eight. Are you ready? Seven. Wow, Lou only needs one more seven and he'll take la torta. Here we go, guys. You know what's in here? Whoa. Well, I think that uh, I should win because I did the, the real Italian night. Woo! Here we go. Raise proof. I'm leaving here. Forget it. No way. No. <laughs> There's no <laughs> way I'm losing tomorrow. <laughs> Last place is... 
Morella. The complainer. In fourth place is... Lazaro. Viva Italia! In third place is... Erica. Aw, no new cell phone. Tied for first place is... Lulu and Lou. So in the end, it looks like Morella wasn't the biggest whiner. I may have been drunk, but Lou, I still know your dinner party was only a six. If I wasn't going to win, I wanted Lulu to win. And we both won. I told you from day one that he was going to be my competition, so I'm happy I tied with him. I wasn't surprised I was in last place, but what are you going to do? I'm not disappointed in the least. I'm so proud of Lou and Lou. One, two, three, four. Go home with uh, my heart for different friends, for new friends. Be my Italia! Be my Italia! Yeah!